but we just could not get them cleaned no matter how hard we tried. That's when the customer pulled out a ladder, stepped up, got on top, looked at the panels and said, what the hell is all that still all over my solar panels? That is when I first realized that my biggest enemy in solar panel cleaning was going to be this ugly crap dried up and stuck on solar panels. But, okay, looking at this pollen, this doesn't look super on the... No, it doesn't. And no. if we go like this, like we're... I mean, I just feel with the brush and uh, a few... Uh, Agitations? I was once told by a customer that he did some research and believed them to be residue from jets flying above and falling down from the sky. However, that isn't exactly what is taking place as I have come to find out. According to Robert Donaldson, Hello. an experienced beekeeper and blogger, bee poop is made up of the indigestible fiber found in honey and pollen. Honeybees do not poop in their hive, only the queen bee does. So this means at some point, every single bee will leave the hive to poop. It also means that some bees will have the job of carrying out the queen bee's poop out of the beehive. In the warmer months, they poop several hundred yards away from their hive when they are on their way to a food source, which is on average a mile away from the hive. This is why in some states you may not see as much bee poop on solar panels when they are cleaned in the winter months. These same regions may also see a large amount of bee poop on panels in the springtime when it gets a bit warmer. Because the bees are so eager to get out and poop, they often poop as close as 50 feet to the hive. Have you ever seen an oblong bee poop droplet on solar panels? Where these oblong bee poop droplets point are usually the general direction where the bee was coming from or going to, or bees. Now, this is simple. It's basic CSI trajectory and velocity mathematics. I mean, come on, really, it's, it's simple. If you're seeing bee poop on panels, that means A, the solar panels are in the bee's flight path because the hive slush food is nearby or B, the bees are attracted to the solar panels. Once temperatures drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius, the bees stay in their hive, never leaving to poop until it is warm enough to do so. They just sit right there and chill out and store their poop. Why are bees attracted to solar panels? To answer that, we have to know more about bees. First off, let's talk about what colors they can see and what colors they are attracted to. Technically, bees can see green, blue, purple, and even ultraviolet. Some flowers have an iridescence that can only be seen by ultraviolet light, and this iridescence mimics sugar and makes the flower way more appealing to bees. Polycrystalline solar panels have that iridescence in regular light which also makes them noticeably more blue, both of which is very attractive to bees. Monocrystalline panels don't have this issue of iridescence and blue hue, so they are less likely to attract bees. Thanks for joining us for another fun and educational video. Want to learn more about professional solar panel cleaning? Hit the subscribe button and then tap on that little bell so that you get a notification every time we upload a new video or go live on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video and as always, please leave us a comment.